Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'll be showing you how to use Trello. Now Trello is a really cool product. Um, it's made by Atlasane who run uh, numerous different products that you may have heard of. Um, Trello is a great way for you and your team to manage and automate tasks similar to you know loads of other tools out there but Trello is one of the most popular ones. So let's get started now i've already made an account with atlasane which is again the company that has made trello so this is just one of their products um i'll show you what their website is and we have a look yeah so these guys they make loads and loads and loads of different products um including trello confluence gyra work management atlas and whatnot so they make loads of different things However, Trello is what we're going to be focusing on today. Now, once you've made your account and you head over to Trello.com, you'll be taken over to create your first team. Or you can go to Trello.com forward slash create hyphen first hyphen team. So anyway, let's build our first board and I'll go through some of the features. And we'll talk about, you know, the pros and the cons and, 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 and how things are done. So let's build our first board. Now this board, I'm going to call it software um, software team one. We'll call it for software project one. Project, <laughs> that's funny. Let me fix that. Um, name your list. We're going to do, yeah, I like that to do, doing, done. Um, let's do uh, software plans. Uh, uh, hmm. Let's do in development bugs, <laughs> bugs, and then to do, and then uh, uh, TBD to be done. Uh, let's do to do. Now, obviously, I think if you're a real team, you're going to need a bit more than that. Um, now, if you don't know, you can see on the right here, this is what I was creating. Now a big part of Trello is this concept of boards um, and I don't know if you noticed earlier but it said oh create your board. So as you can see over here this is my board. Now within my board are three different lists and they're essentially like our building blocks really, our cards. Um, and this is where I'll be able to add my tasks and assign people to tasks and keep track of everything. Um, so yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at our first card. So we'll, we'll read this. So cards are your building blocks. So for things you need to do, organize or share with a teammate. You can also set due dates for tasks so you'll never miss a thing. Add tiles for new cards in your to-do list. Um, so the cards are essentially what's going to be inside. So to-do list, we're going to say um, search feature. Search feature and then the second one we're going to call um, deletion feature. Nice. Well, we don't have a team member, but I'll, I'll, I'll give a little fake invite so you can see. Um, we're going to just say, you know, amy at youtube.com. <laughs> now, obviously, amy at youtube maybe will receive something. One last thing. Ooh, I wonder what it's doing. Aha, try premium. Now, this is one thing that's worth mentioning for Trello. Now, although Trello is a great product, for most of the cool features, you will need to pay for premium. Now, we can start a 30-day free trial and whatnot, but we're just going to skip this for now. And we're just going to show you the basics of Trello and how it works and how you can use it, um, you know, in your team. So... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do in development. We're going to add a few more cards. You know, before that, here we go. So this is your board. This is your workplace. Um, now, I think this is really, it's really neat. It's really simple. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory. So as mentioned, these are our boards and then within them are our cards. Um, and you can have these say anything and it's just I think it's a great way to just keep track of everything it's actually a really simple product if you think about it so um, so yeah I'm just gonna do a little not role play but you know 
to show you in a more realistic scenario how it would look so for instance in development we would have let's say for instance um uh let's say moving buttons yeah add card let's say uh, title animations user authentication user authentication and then password reset tool reset tool now this is quite cool obviously you know during the tutorial only let me set up three but i can create more lists so i can say um, i can add a done list also i'll call it shipped so you know shipped <laughs> i guess in software usually means the, you know the product is launched out into the open so oh we'll add this list called shipped and then we'll add another one called um review please um in review now this is quite cool because look at this i can just drag them around really simply um and this is essentially what we can do so it, when, it, when it comes to a software product or project you know you can have all of your team members you know on this trello workspace and um essentially you, you can you can start to add all of these little tasks for the rest of your team now what i like about trello is when you go onto the task so we're going to go within this to-do list we're going to go within the search feature task you can actually see that um, i can add a way more description and information about the task at hand so i can say uh hey guys Hey guys, this search feature must be similar to, you know, let's say Bing, <laughs> Bing or Ask Jeeves. Ask Jeeves search, but it must show the same results as Duck, Duck, Go. Duck, duck, gee, duck, duck, go. Um, um, and yeah, so <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is you can essentially show, you can add different features about these tasks. Now, um, there's a lot more customization that you can do too. As you can see on the right here, you can add members to the card. So the more members that you have you know, as you can see, it's only really me and the other random person I invited. But if you have an entire team here and you, and you know, and say you're the boss or whatever, or I don't know, and you want to assign certain people to particular tasks, you can do that. All you have to do is literally just add members to the card and then you can choose. So I'm going to assign Amy to this card. So she knows that she <laughs> has to work on this search feature. And I can say, so you can comment on it as well. Say, hey guys how is this feature going um you know there's more that you can do there's checklists it's dates you know i can i can add a, a a due date i can add it you know for the 9th of the 11th i'm in the uk so <laughs> it's not 9 11 um and yeah so there's it's it's highly highly customizable seeing as this is software too I can add a genuine attachment, I can paste links, I can display text, I can choose files from my computer and whatnot. So from the surface, I guess, you know, <laughs> this can just look like a really simple tasking software. But then when you actually start going in depth on each of these, um, you realize, oh wait, there's actually more to this. And so you can see, for instance, say my search feature has been worked on, and now I can move it to in development. Teams developing it. That's great. And then next, what I can do is once I know that that's uh, you know working and whatnot, I can move it to in review. Uh, once they've cr you know, and then once it's done, I can move it to shipped. Uh, and and that's done. 
and as a boss or as anyone on the team I can I can check all these things and you know I can add things for bugs like ah oh, search feature search feature bug and they're like oh what there's a bug and search feature they go in here and they'll see oh blah 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 there is is a bug when you search the word blue so yeah I mean you kind of see what I mean it's just highly customizable there's a lot that you can do on here and um, I, I you know I wish I could show you the way if I had Trello premium I would I would show you a bit more but you can see in this animation here that there's actually way more ways that Trello can visualize um, not your data but your tasks and what you and your team need to do so you can see you can have it in a grid you can have it with some really nice data visualization tools and and graphs and whatnot uh, so I think those are really nice now if we head over to table um, again this isn't actually gonna work unfortunately because we don't have workspace premium I wonder if calendar is gonna work we don't have it either but similarly it's gonna work the same um, it's just it just depends on on how you input your tasks and how you input your data and so I think that that's most important and I think that's really cool um, so yeah now what I like even more is uh, you know we can create numerous boards you know we can we can just create another one off the bat I can change the background I can title it this on is new I can make this a private one I can make it public um, I can even start with a bloody template look at this so for instance We'll call it a, we'll a go-to-market strategy. This is quite cool. So if we create that. There you go. Look at that. So, you know, if you need a go-to-market strategy, this is what we've got. So I think this is quite cool. Like I said, templates are quite, templates are really good, in my opinion. It's a great way to get started. Helps you get away from that annoying analysis paralysis of sitting and wondering what do I do when do I do it um, so yeah that's that you don't necessarily have to use a template it's not you know required but it's a good place to start and I recommend it and you can have as many boards as you like and if you upgrade to premium you can have even more even more than as many as you like now we can have a look at some of the settings and whatnot um, seeing as this is your workspace you can edit who can see everything, who has access. Uh, you can edit your members and whatnot. It's it's a very, very, very intuitive tool. Now, if we go back to software project, um, you know, maybe we want to customize this workspace a little bit. So let's change the background ever so slightly. Um, I'm surprised there's no color palette, to be honest. But this is good enough for me. Um, so yeah let's have a look at some of the other stuff you can even I guess you can upload a custom image um, but we're not gonna do that today um, but uh, yeah there's a few other features a few other small stuff I'll talk about before I end this off you can automate as you can all the time now Trello links up with other tools such as Airtable such as Zapier such as Microsoft Power Automate and pretty much everything else so you can use it as an API endpoint to send you webhooks and notifications whenever you know a task is updated or a board is updated or whatever I think that's a really useful feature um, you know you can make it email you whenever you can even email this board you can email invites so you can see th these little features on the right we can place some stickers I wonder if I can drag this Look, I can drag some stickers here. Now, you know, these maybe aren't the most professional uh, stickers to use, but they work, and I think they're quite cool. Um, and, yeah, you can even print and export, which I think is quite funny. So you can download it as a PDF, probably, or you can print as a PDF and view it all manually. You know, you never know. Some people work with people that only want to view stuff on paper. Anyway... 
thank you very much for watching this Trello tutorial. Hopefully it showed you the basics of how it works and how to view your boards and whatnot and how to create something that would benefit your company. Um, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.